What up, y'all? I'm gonna show you how to make my mom's tteokbokki recipe. So yes, let's get started. All right, so we've got two bundles of culantro, two bundles of green onions, a few Thai eggplants. I have eight here, some shallots, some limes, and a handful of garlic, handful of Thai chilies, fish sauce, chicken bouillon seasoning, sugar, and good old stinky fermented fish paste, also known as pohok in Khmer. So we are going to rinse off all of our veggies and then get straight to chopping. BRB. And I'm just gonna chop them into little pieces. Um, I've got all my green onions here. I'm going to place it into a bowl. I'm going to rinse off and chop my culantro. So I've got my rinse culantro here. I'm just gonna bundle it all up, squeeze it nice and tight, and just start finely chopping it. So. I'm gonna toss this into the same bowl as the green onions. I'm gonna remove the stem. So it's up to you how you want to cut your eggplants. I'm going to finely chop these. It looks like that. So I've got my eggplant here. And what I'm gonna do is create a little ice bath. So I've got a little ice bath in here. It's just got some ice and cold water. And I've got a little strainer. So I'm going to stick the eggplant into this ice bath here. My mom says it helps with keeping the eggplant from browning and it keeps it nice and crunchy. So I'm just gonna let that sit in there while I finish cutting up the rest of the eggplants. I've got all of my eggplants in here. There it goes. I'm just gonna leave it in the ice bath and then we'll move on to the next step. So I got this handy dandy little slicer from Daiso for $1.50. Check this it. out. Watch it rain shallots. Look at that. $1.50 y'all. Boom. Done. Ooh, ooh, but my eyes are burning. Oh, there goes my makeup. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stick the shallots in the same bowl as the green onions and the culantro. Okay. I know it looks like I've been crying. It's the freaking shallots. Thing is strong. Okay, so I've got my Thai chilies and my garlic. I am going to roast these in a pan to get a nice char on them. I'm just gonna let these roast right in the pan here. So I've got about half a cup of water in this pot here that's been boiling. Ooh, starting to pop off in here. And then I've got my fermented fish paste here. So I'm gonna add one full tablespoon. Do another one. Actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the rest of this. I'll bring this so you can see it. So I've got my charred garlic and Thai chilies here. And then I've got my cooked fermented fish paste here. Now we are going to add in the roasted garlic and Thai chilies. And the fermented, oh shit, fer fermented fish paste. You do not want this thing to spill on you because this shit reeks, y'all. It reeks, but it tastes really good. Um, yeah, blendy, blendy, blend. <laughs> shit. Okay, that's the other thing I should have warned you about. <laughs> the Thai chilies and the garlic was still hot. The fermented fish paste was really hot, so. All of that heat builds up pressure and it can cause the blender top to come off, which almost happened here. Oh my God, freaking fish everywhere. So make sure that you hold onto it tightly or let it cool down before you throw it into the blender. So let me show you what it looks like. Now what I'm gonna do is put the eggplant into this bowl here with all of the other veggies. So let's go ahead and transfer this over. I'm gonna dump everything out into this large pan here. I am going to pour the sauce in here. Ooh, look at that. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Ugh. Check that out. Mm -hmm, yummy. Now I'm okay. gonna cut up some lime. So squeeze in one full lime. 
And then I'm gonna add in some chicken bouillon seasoning, a little bit of sugar, and then we're gonna mix this all up. Add in more chicken bouillon, add in some more sugar. Mix that all up. And if you want to stretch out the sauce a little bit, you can add in some fish sauce. So I'm just gonna do... I adjusted it with a little more sugar, some chicken bouillon, lime, and fish sauce. Um, so yeah, this is it. Check this out. Super yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Fire. So, I am going to serve this with a nice thick piece of boom tomahawk steak. Look at that. Beautiful. Size of my face. So, what I'm going to do is just drizzle a little bit of olive oil, rub that all in, and some. Cracked black pepper. I've got some Himalayan salt here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We are going to throw it on the grill. Let's go throw this baby on the grill. Lesson for today, do not leave food unattended on the grill. God, I'm such a fucking idiot. I swear to God, I almost caught the whole fucking tree on fire. Um, thank God that didn't happen. Anyway, so Even though my steak looks burnt as fuck, the inside still is really nice. I'm gonna get that fucker. Quick tutorial. I refilled my glass. I'm gonna be shit-faced by the time I finish this video. All right, 